But you have uh, four main symbols in the novel. Um, the fire, the conch, something you have not yet met yet called the Lord of the Flies. And uh, anybody have an idea for the fourth? No, the beast is abstract. It's not concrete. The dead corpse is concrete, right? We've got to have a concrete object. Yes? <coughs> Piggy's glasses. Very good. Let's fill some slides. Fill some slides with answers to these four questions. Any one of them, they're not necessarily in order. So let's bounce around. Let's see how many of these we can answer. You should be able to fill up each slide with data. Yeah. Any one of the fours. OK, good. It calls meetings. At the beginning, it joined the boys when they had never met before. So it calls meetings regularly. And at the beginning, it called them together when they were chaotically dispersed throughout the island. What else? Fire signal shift. Oh, let's stay with conch, though. You're correct that the fire does that, but let's stay with the conch. It represents power? Literal. Literal. Oh. We need literal evidence. Sheila. And Sheila, when somebody's holding it and speaking, what is the rest of the group doing? Correct. Dispels chaotic discussion. In other words, everybody shut up and listen to me. I've got something to say, and the conch makes that possible. OK, we still have the other three questions as well as this question. Can you think of answers to any of those other three or this? And I don't see anybody looking in their book to find the pages on which he describes it. We need that for that fourth question. What does it look like? How does he describe it? Think about the different boys, individual characters. How do they interact with it differently? Yeah? Well, for how the characters interact with the symbol? Yes. OK, Ralph uses it um, Ralph uses it to lead meetings. What else? Yes? Ah, and can you tell me two specific ways that Jack does not follow its rules? Good. Jack talks over conch speakers. So somebody has the conch, and that person is speaking, and Jack intentionally talks over that person. Can somebody tell me another way in which Jack disrespects its power, limits its power, or somehow tries to deny its power? Kirsten? I'll, t I'll give you a hint. Here's how you would know whether or not it, you're correct. If it's really abstract, if you're trying to generalize, then it's probably not correct. If it's something specific, like a specific moment, something that happened, then it's probably correct, because that's what we're, we're developing here. OK. Jessica? True, but that's more of this. Jack talks over the conch speakers, including Piggy. OK, true, but once again, that's just another expression of him talking over the conch speakers. He yells at Ralph and says, oh, we don't need the conch. We can be civilized. OK, um, not the one I was thinking of, but this one would work too. Denies it to Ralph. So eventually he says, we don't need that thing. But I was thinking of he said when he says, uh, Jack says it only works in the lagoon. Remember there on the side of the hill? And Piggy has it in his hand. He says, I got the conscious. You listen. And Jack looks at him and says, that doesn't work here. That only works down there. So Jack wants to say, first of all, I don't like this thing. Secondly, I don't 
obey it at all when I'm out of this little lagoon area. It only works there. Piggy, of course, says, no, it works everywhere. So we have some evidence for Piggy. Piggy respects it. But more than that, what would you, how would you characterize Piggy's reaction to this thing? Yes, Ellie? It's like his only way to people to come Good. Piggy depends on it. Totally. Piggy depends on it. And that means that he's constantly holding on to that conch. And when people won't listen to him, he's saying, I've got the conch. Think about Ralph. Ralph never has to hold the conch and say, I've got it, just you listen to me. People listen to him naturally. But Piggy must hold on to that conch. What else? Other characters. Do the little ones use it? But they do, right? When one of the little ones who's afraid to speak wants to speak and use it, how is he made to, to speak? They give him the conch. He's holding the conch. And then what does he do? I'm sorry? He's afraid of talking in open assembly, so he whispers his response to Piggy, and Piggy mouths it for the rest. But Piggy's just an acting as a microphone for him, basically. So the little ones use it. Not as much, perhaps, but they definitely use it. And as we've already said before, Simon seems disconnected. Every single one of these pieces of evidence, every single one of these details is intentional on Golding's part. I know sometimes students think that literature just accidentally happens, but every single detail in a novel like this is crafted on purpose. Um, did anybody find the description yet? O on what page? Good. Yifang, why don't you pick out something on there that you think is uh, pretty important. You don't have to read the entire thing, but maybe a passage, a sentence, something like that for its description. Good. Okay. And... Um, See, deep cream touched with fading pink. Uh, somebody pick out another part of the description that, yeah, Sheila. Does it have to be physical? What are you looking at? The shell was interesting and pretty, and the word No, that's physical. So first of all, he calls it pretty. Now, that's a subjective perception on the part of the boys. Um, but uh, it's pretty. And whose perspective do we have here when they say it's a worthy play thing? Yes. So, Sheila, here's what you're doing. You're not only talking to me about its physical description, but you're also talking to me about boys' reaction to it. So you're saying Ralph uses it to lead meetings. He thinks it is worthwhile. So you've just picked out an important piece of evidence. More description on the page 16, past where Yi Fung has just spoken. Yes. Good. <laughs> yes, and that goes into the necessary qualities. It's expensive. And when I say the necessary qualities of a symbol, I mean all conch shells are expensive, not just that one. See this? This is a description of a specific one instance of a conch shell. That's a description of all conch shells. So on this slide, we're describing all conch shells. On this one, we're describing.